we recite all the time, Ya Musabibul Asbar. What? Shaykh? Ya Musabibul Asbar. Don't ask Haji Zaza, he's going to come up with a different sound. We're still stuck on Lulu. Ya Musabibul Asbar, the one who gives cause. Then after, Ya Mufati Abu. In our lives, whatever condition Allah put us in was the best of conditions. If it makes you cold so that you seek His fire. If Nabi Musa was hot, he wouldn't be looking for God as a fire. Because he wasn't looking as if Allah and God Almighty is a fire but he puts us in a condition to give us a relief. There's a test in that condition, there's a wisdom in the condition. So when we're asking, Ya Musabbibul Asbab that you're the one whom putting me in these different conditions, Mufatiha Awab that you're going to open a door for me once I understood the wisdom of the condition. So tariqah comes to give us our zikr, our awrad and make a tafakkur and 99% of the tariqah people they don't make any tafakkur and they don't understand the condition that God has put them in and everybody comes for a du'a for relief. I want to come and see the shaykh and get a du'a and that's not how it works although you make a du'a but he's not really making a du'a for you, that's how the truth of it is because his du'a is accepted. He's playing with you, say, okay, alhamdulillah and recite. For if he was to make the du'a, everything opens with Allah's grant. But they know that you don't understand the condition you're in and why this came to you, you're more interested in trying to get rid of it and get out of the condition and they're not in competition with Allah They don't Allah give you something and they take it away. They're here to teach us the path, not take it for us. So everything that comes in our life, that's why this du'a and they keep reciting the same du'a because it's a big mifta, it's a big key of their, pre their presence. Ya Wahhab, Ya Wahhab, Ya Wahhab, Ya Musabbibun Asma. Means that you're, you're going to put me in a condition because you want the best for me and in that condition is going to be my secret and my key out. Why, why am I in this position? Then the people of tafakkur they're supposed to sit and contemplate that this condition that I'm in, what is it that Allah wants from me? Most people in life are fighting to sit on the seekh. This is good for tafakkur. We are by our nature running to sit on a pole that's very sharp and you will impale yourself on that pole. You want recognition, you want authority, you want to be recognized, you want a power, you want something. You want it from your world and you want it from your spirituality. And as if you're fighting yourself to sit upon the pole, it's not a regular pole, it's a very sharp pole that will completely impale you and take you out. And human nature is, I want that, I want why I don't have that authority, why I don't have this position, why I don't have this recognition. And everything is in our life is coming, Ya Musabibul Asba. Allah said, no, no, I'm putting you in a condition that you don't get to that. Because the one who tries to ride the pole distances himself from Allah The one trying to seek a recognition and authority is actually moving away from Prophet So then their life was to tafakkur, wherever they go they seem to be humiliated because Allah loves them, not elevated 
They're elevated by unseen but by the seen they're humiliated because Allah loves them. We don't want you to be recognized by people, we don't want you on the pole. So their whole life was not to go after the pole but when Allah wants to raise His servant that's Allah at that time. But our whole life is trying to get some sort of problem and Allah said, no I'm giving you a problem so that you don't seek that world, that you don't seek that recognition, that you don't seek to sit on there to destroy yourself because nobody is loved by Allah at that position. They distance themselves from Allah So means their whole life is, is to recognize that, that just the condition you're putting me in that what's my relief? And then they understood because their tafakkur becomes stronger and stronger, hide yourself, veil yourself, push yourself back. You're not in need of anything from the physical world to be recognized and the whole of the physical world that's all it wants. And so their, their role was to teach their students the same process, don't keep trying to get recognized. In anything we do in lives that's not of any importance. So that understanding is that every condition we find ourselves in there's a relief. You don't go to the shaykh to get a du'a to take it away, although you can ask but that's not going to be happening. They come, I'll give us a du'a and let it, the problem to end, say, no, no, the, the solution is sit for the zikr because Allah won't address you. When Allah took your two legs out means sit there and wait for a relief to come. Not to, to prop you up and send you out, give you something that you just now want to, to go. It's not a McDonald's, I want two fries with that too. They put all sorts of requests, oh, shaykh, translate this in this language, do like this, like this. And say, okay no problem we'll give you fries and a coke also because everything now is just like a drive through and you make your orders and requests. But Ya Rabbi you put me in a condition I want to seek out a remedy and that remedy is for the soul for all of eternity. We pray that Allah give us a, a hikmah and a wisdom that when Ya Mufatih Abwaab that open a door and the real door is through your spirituality when you, when you continuously communicate with your spirituality. That I'm not here to sit on the pole, I'm not here to show myself, identify myself. I'm here to get close to Prophet and as a result I'm going to hide myself even more. And the more you're able to hide yourself, more you're able to accept what condition Allah puts us in, the more we can draw closer to that reality. And then we find that in our life if we do that in our spiritual life, imagine then the blessing that overflows into our physical life. But people want to run here like it's a corporation but it doesn't work that way. It's actually the opposite of your corporate world. <coughs> whatever you want in your corporate world and whatever you try to achieve for your dunya that's something different. If you apply that into the heavenly kingdom you actually move very far away from the reality and they may not say anything to you and you just keep going, drifting, drifting like a boat lost at sea. But reminder for me tonight and always for myself that every condition has an immense blessing from Allah Somebody very close gave some information that, oh my gosh there's some plumbing that had to be done and complained the whole time the plumbing, the plumbing, had to fix the plumbing, had to fix the plumbing. The plumber came and fixed. But as a result of the plumbing coming to the house to fix a small problem actually noticed a tremendous problem. And by result of the small problem that Allah sent was to give a relief for immense problem that was unknown and undetected. That's the greatness when the life is continuously positive that Allahu Akbar, Ya Rabbi I know that you love me and everything coming for an opening. Nothing is that Allah is bothering me and I'm in continuous aggravation with Allah's religion. Allah's great, God is great. 
whatever he sends must be an immense secret coming from it. One problem was probably to identify a huge problem that I would have never detected and could have lost your entire home from that. We pray that Allah always give us patience and use our heart. This way was the way of the heart, this was the, the way of seeking Allah's Divine satisfaction inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.